Fire, whose real name is Beatrice da Costa, first appeared as Green Fury in Super Friends No. 25 in 1979, and was later renamed Fire in Infinity Inc. No. 32 in 1986. Created by E. Nelson Bridwell and Ramona Pradden, Beatrice started as a Brazilian superhero in the Global Guardians, initially possessing the ability to breathe mystical green fire. After the Global Guardians disbanded, she joined the Justice League International with her teammate Ice, where she transformed into fire. This change expanded her powers to include pyrokinesis, allowing her to generate and control green planes, fly, and become a being of living plane. Throughout her history, Pyre has been a prominent member of the JLI, known for her passionate and fiery personality, and her strong sense of loyalty to her friends, especially Ice. She also served as a field agent for Checkmate, a government organization that added espionage elements to her storyline. Pyre continues to appear in modern DC comics, maintaining her status as a seasoned superhero. Her character has also been featured in various animated series and video games, reflecting her enduring popularity in the DC universe. Hey you everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving deep into one of the Justice League International's most awaited member to be in action figure form, Fire. Let's start with the packaging. The front of the box prominently displays McParlene Gold Labor Collection, DC Multiverse, Fire. There's a large, clear window showing up the figure and its accessories. On the right side, you'll see McParlene Toys, DC Multiverse, Fire. Surprisingly, nothing is written for the source material that inspired this figure. The left side continues the window display and also says McParlene Toys, DC Multiverse, Fire. Finally, the back of the box features artwork from the comics, which if I would guess, is from Justice League International. That's it for the packaging. Now, let's crack this open and see if McParlane did justice to this version of fire in action figure form. She stands at 7 inches or 18 centimeters. She comes with a standard McPerlin art card. Standard McPerlin stand. And those fire effects that already comes with her out of the box. Luckily, compared to the Starfire, this Fire effects actually fits. Looking at the figure, this is obviously a 100% reuse of the Nightfall Catwoman, which to be honest, I am a little disappointed because they've been using this body mold for most of their uh, female character releases, which, to be honest for me, doesn't always work. So in the case of this one, I don't think it worked. This one, the Starfire, I think in a way it worked, and they actually retooled some bits of it in order for it to actually look like the character. But in the end, what I don't like here is that those knees, they should have changed those to actually at least make the figure look a little cleaner. Now in the case of this one, I think the main reason why it did not work is that 
if you will look at the art card, fire is basically a human plane. So if there is a chance for McFarlane Toys to actually create a completely blank female body mold, this would have been the chance. Because I think the main reason why I don't think it works with fire is that she looks like someone in a cat suit that is completely green. She doesn't look like she's on fire or something. She actually looks more like a Green Lantern construct. Now, what did they change? Uh, of course, she has a completely new head sculpt for the fire character. And to be honest, I do like this head sculpt, but... I think she looks a little, you know, she looks like Emma Frost, to be honest. I don't think they captured the kind look of fire. They should have just, they could have just left this face completely blank and just colored the eyes and it would have worked. It would have worked. I like the yellow green or apple green paint that they added to highlight the mold. Same thing that they do to the green fire effects. So yeah, I think it highlights the mold. I like that. And then they added this thing on her waist to make it look like she's on fire and to be honest the character is supposed to look like this and this figure it still looks like in it like she's in a hat suit she is even wearing heels in her human plane form. Uh, yeah. I don't have problems with using re with reusing molds, but they should at least change this to be more applicable to the character. I mean, come on, McPerlane. And then, yeah, you can obviously see those lines. And then the zipper for the cut suit. When I first saw this, I was actually thinking they shouldn't have used this clear green material for it because she looks more like a green lantern construct instead of uh, fire. Instead of having the fire, you know, the fiery, the green fire look. For me, they should have just used a a normal a normal plastic and then painted it green like this but then i thought if that's what they did and this is the same mold they use it will more obviously show the detail of the cat suit so that won't work at least in this clear in this clear plastic if well if you're not really looking directly at her or pretty far Maybe they thought, yeah, she was still fast as fire, but no, no, it doesn't. I was actually pretty excited with this figure, but yeah, this is a poor reuse of the Nightfall Catwoman body mold. This would have been a very good opportunity for McFarlane to actually create a blank, a complete blank female body mold which they can reuse more easily because the Catwoman body mold is not really very applicable and to as a you know as a body mold that you can reuse because it has details. 
you know, the cat suit had has details. Molded details to be precise. So yeah, for me this doesn't work. This doesn't work for me. Overall, guys, for me, this figure is a complete fail. It is an easy pass. I mean, it doesn't even look like the character and that catwoman, that nightfall catwoman body mold, they should trash that. And this would have been a this would have been a good opportunity. This character would have been a really a good opportunity for them to create a new female body mold that they can reuse. I don't have the same problem with the blue beetle body mold for uh, for the which they reuse for most of their male action figures because that is actually the perfect example of a body mold that you can reuse because it is basically blank. As far as as, as far as molded details, there, it isn't that much, but this cat suit has a lot of molded details which you can just ignore. I mean you can just ignore. This is a lazy reuse. This is a missed opportunity. I don't know, guys. Uh, I'll let you be the judge if you, if you like this figure. But for me, this is a complete fail. Anyway, guys, if you've reached this, this part of my video, thanks a lot. And if you like my video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And again, guys, enjoy life and keep collecting.